visitors today to Borsal and Bergswell and immediately ball goes all the way back to the visiting defence. Bit of a, a miscontrol there, but uh, Dunlop have got away with it. Dunlop currently third in this league, but they've got seven games since the start of the season in this division. Whereas the Universe have played six games, but on top they have been making progress in the vast competition. Making progress is what they're doing at the moment. And they've got uh, Freeman on the right-hand side, but the ball is misplaced. One back again. There is a striker now. Is it going to hit the low shot? Is it the ball across the face of goal with the wind behind him? And that was Cranage who uh, made the break on the right. I'm going to take this uh, right side corner for Dunlop. Left footed. Just the crossbar. This is a good start by... Here comes the cross from Munger. Free kick uh, just about on the halfway line for Balsall. The Hornets, of course, in the yellow and black. Povey making the run to the left side of the penalty box, which of course is where the ball's going to drift because of the wind. There's a, a shot right-footed by Bailey, but I think it uh, kind of didn't even reach the... Uh, the byline and the keeper made sure he picked that on up. And uh, the ball's really long line of visitors. And uh, straight through to the goalkeeper. He now a chance for the visitors again. It's a low shot. and Munga tries to play a 1-2 but uh, in comes the cross eventually from O'Connor and that ball's gone back to the and then in comes the left foot cross it's allowed to Goalkeeper punches it away and uh, I'm afraid Blythe's shot on the bounce slices well off target. Still 1-0 to Dunlop. Again the, uh, the host unable to get the ball away. Little flick on the Lays it off again to Munger who gets past the defender and wins a corner. Munger now to take this free kick. Swings it up dangerously and Ritson can't quite reach it. Still a chance for the visitors. There's the shot, and again a good save by the goalkeeper. Who turned up over his goal. And all way goes the ball. A long way behind the goal. So he's walked a very long way to fetch that ball. And now he's going to take this left side. Free kick. Ritson comes in, but didn't quite get hold of that. Let's say. Leading by this one goal. Uh, 
as half time is signaled by the referee. And after a dominant first half, the visitors only find themselves on the ball ahead. Second half starts here at uh, Balsall and immediately the uh, home side. Frankham in comes the cross, the goalkeeper fumbles it a little bit but safely gathers the rebound. Towards Osborne. And that's a really good challenge at the back and uh, a corner to the visitors. Challenged by Proctor on that occasion. Has spent so many moments collecting comes his corner, it's tipped over the crossbar, is it? It's an attacking player who's got the final touch and it's a uh, goal kick. Towards Osborne, but uh, he's not able to get any angle on that shot, but uh, it's a decent little pass by Frank and yet again. And that's a good interception by Mickey Thomas, and it's a corner on the right. Munger takes the uh, corner short. Grayson's delivery was knocked away by the goalkeeper close to his far post. Well Shot there by Jay Record, which uh, was right with the left hand up right. It's a really long kick, and uh, the defense having to deal with it. The keeper was lucky to get away with his pass, and there is a right at the edge of the penalty box. And that was again the uh, the running of Cranage, who's uh, it's been the only real problem that the visitors have had to deal with, but now there's a chance for a shot at goal. So we've got a four-man wall here, which the referee is going to drag back. We've got Bailey and we've got Povey over this free kick. I think it's possibly going to be Bailey. He looks more set to take it. Away goes Bailey. And there's the free kick and it's hit too high. Referee record with the throw again that. for Balsall. That's a decent turn and a good run to the byline but a little poach into the out. side netting from Gorst. Mickey Thomas went down and uh, it's a free kick now for Povey to take. Left foot, because it's just right of centre. There is a wall, and there is a strong wind. Let's see what happens. He plays it to the right, though. And the cross is blocked by Munger, doing a good defensive job. Munger got that away really well, and that's a good start by O'Connor. The final pass is intercepted, really, and, and the home side have done well with this. There's the little pass through to... From that right hand side. Free kick again to Ballstall. Just over the halfway line. Decent spell in that start of the second half here. Brinson gets the head of the way. Frankham involved. The staff plays it down the line. J record nods it.
Walsh, there's the right foot shot and it's caught by the goalkeeper, Gain. Did well to hold on. So Blakey with the right stick. Very high, that's in the mix. Good punch by the goalkeeper. Left side corner for the visitors and uh, a respite for them really because they've... And that is in, and it's 2-0. Just what was needed, and I think that might be O'Connor who's got the goal. Right side corner for the assist, and 15 to 15 minutes left in this game. to deal with and the pace of Osborne nearly gets away there forced inside to Jay Record as the home side regain possession. Now in comes the cross. It's a dangerous one for the goalkeeper to deal with but it's dropped over the goal frame. And that was Proctor. Proctor to take the throw. Osborne doing some defending. Nixon. A shot. It's a really good shot, and that's a good save by the goalkeeper. Connor, little back heel. Frank, this is a good move actually, and there goes Osborne. Chance to maybe score again. The goalkeeper gets his hands to it, and it's cleared off the line to the goalkeeper. So possibly about six or seven minutes left. There's a chance now for the home side. Right foot shot, well blocked at the edge of the penalty box. That ball strikes Ritson. The stomach are on the line. There's a low shot. That's another good save by the goalkeeper. And that was Gorst, I think. Gorst. With the uh, corner on the right hand side for Dunlop. Still holding on to this 2 0 lead. And the ball has gone in. Well played again by the home side. Now they've got something to fight for. It's 2-1 of course. And there's the break. Now then, Blythe goes left to Frankham. It's taken it a little a bit too wide, but Wendell Moyo's in the middle. There's the rifle shot and it's gone over the bar and that's from the substitute Knight. Moyo trying to feed Knight and Knight's gone onto it. Cuts inside, onto his left foot, onto his right, and he has scored to make it 3-1. Moyo set that up for him, and the substitute has scored. and he's got substitute Knight and the ball's come to Knight. It's a really good cross. Controlled by the Knight. He's sent forward but he's a replacement. Of course, takes it into the corner. And there he goes for a throw. Boyo battling for the ball on the right hand side. And it comes to Dixon. Somebody took a boot there. in on 90 minutes. Okay. Picks up the ball after the uh, chase by Kranich. The referee must be looking to end this game very, very shortly now. Very, very grim here. And there is the final whistle. Final score here at uh, Walsall. Walsall. And it looks well. One from a corner. And the visitors Dunlop three.